Okay, so AI is already very good. And if you feel like you're getting left behind, then that's completely normal. Absolutely everybody does. Even big companies like Webflow are experiencing this anxiety because they just introduced a new feature for AI on their platform. But how will this impact yours and my career? Will it make us obsolete in this world? Do we even have a place anymore? We'll talk about all of that, but first let's go over some of the most important things that they just released as well as some big key players coming up in this game. So I'm sure that you already know this, but Webflow just released this Webflow AI feature. And as of today, as of recording, it only is an article. They haven't actually released the functionality yet, but we can really start to see where Webflow wants to go with their platform. And they're really feeling the anxiety of AI and change in this world, mainly because there's some big key players that are coming up with AI driven web design services, especially someone like studio.ai. Now this is a new platform that has just been released on product hunt. So this is a brand new thing and it has over 38,000 people in their wait list. So there is a true demand for a tool like this. Now I'm going to reload here so we can see the initial animation, but this tool is something that a lot of people have been thinking is going to come up and it's only a matter of time that something like this has been released. So the main idea of this tool here is that you can have a chat here, kind of like chat GPT, where you can tell exactly what you want out of this design here. Now, this is very scary for a lot of people. And I want to talk about it because I don't think it's as bad right now as a lot of people make it out to be. And especially with AI inside of Webflow, these two features are kind of similar in my opinion. Now, one of the main features that they just released about Webflow AI is this Copilot feature. Now, if we take a look at this small introduction that Webflow has given us on what Copilot is going to be and the features, we can see that it really is supposed to help us create designs and components a lot faster. Now, a lot of people are scared about this because they think that clients are just gonna hop on Webflow, type in what they want, and it'll create the site for them. And that is true to some degree, but I don't think that Webflow is creating this system yet. Now they do have this feature coming up where you can customize an entire template giving a prompt of your business. So in this case, Kelt Real Estate, it's a description of a real estate agency, and then it will customize the entire template for you. So this makes a lot of designers feel like their entire business is about to go down the drain and it's scaring a lot of people and especially a lot of people that have been in the Webflow game for a very long time. But as I've said with some previous videos, I think that this type of technology was only a matter of time and now is the time to really grasp it, to really use it in your arsenal and prepare for the big wave that is already here and it's coming. So don't get left behind. Try to learn as much of these tools as you can, especially if we take a look at Studio AI and some of the things that are gonna come with this type of tool. If we go all the way down here, we can see that a lot of people are gonna start skipping over designers and just jumping directly into creating their own sites. And this hasn't changed really. If we take a look at things like Squarespace and Shopify, business owners have been able to create their own sites for a lot of years already. So this is nothing new. And I think this AI, where we are right now, I'm not saying in six months or in a year where that's going to be, but right now where we are, AI is not at the state where it's just going to completely eradicate all designers. People still need designers. We still need that creativity to be able to drive designs that AI can learn from. So regardless of where we are in the AI world, I do think that there's still going to be a capacity for designers to exist and also flourish. If you want to take it from the point of view as you can really use this AI tool to triple, quadruple your output for your agency or your one person business, then that is a very smart way to do it. Instead of feeling like business owners are just gonna go the other direction and create their own sites, they've been able to do that anyways. It, this is nothing new. AI can do that a lot easier now. You can go ahead and just type in the name of your website and sure, it's gonna do it for them, but they still have the same struggles. A lot of people are not designers. They're not website developers, website makers, business owners, and people that want websites for their businesses don't necessarily want to deal with the whole knowing on how to do something inside a website. A lot of people don't even know the basics of web designs and web development and a lot of people don't care. They don't want to know. And this is where things like Shopify and Squarespace have done very, very well in accommodating that type of user. So for now, I do think that although AI is super, super scary because it feels like my job is about to be flushed down the toilet, think of it as an opportunity to really narrow down your user base and your client list. People are still going to be demanding websites and it's only going to grow the demand for websites. And sure, AI is going to take a chunk of that market share, but it's not necessarily that bleak as of yet. Another pro to think about is that you can really start to automate all the boring tasks of web design creation. You can automate design systems, grid layouts, all these things that might be a little bit boring for you, including animation, including maybe responsiveness, all these things that a lot of people don't actually think about. They think that a website just comes with these features. You can start to automate it and add it into your package and create a system where all these things are not extra. They're a one single price. It's a little bit more expensive to get the full package, but it's not necessarily as hard for you to recreate these animations or this type of layout. Another way to look at it is that you can ask AI to 
to read your whole site. And I'm, I'm not sure if this is a feature just yet, but I'm sure it will be at some point. But you can ask it to really audit your entire site, understand SEO, understand accessibility, responsiveness, the tags that need to be corrected, all the things that are wrong with your site. It, you can ask it to read it and improve it. Now, the one con about everything that I just said about AI is going to be beneficial to your business is that if you don't actually know the basics of web design and development and all these things, then the AI is just going to output something and you have no idea if that's correct or wrong. So you can't really decide if, okay, this is going to be the best thing for the client, the best thing for the UX or not. So that is the one caveat with all this business in AI. You need to be able to decipher if that is a good thing or not. But I want to pass the question off to you. Are you guys scared of the AI revolution that's coming or do you guys welcome your AI overlords? I, for one, am happy that they're here. Not the case, but let me know down below guys what you guys think about all this AI business that's happening. I think it's not as dramatic right now. I do think that there's still a market for designers, for developers. So let's keep a good positive attitude with all this and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.